A wind drift circle is a constant bank turn around a ground reference point to aid a pilot in determining the wind direction and velocity before conducting ground reference maneuvers. The wind drift circle helps a pilot determine wind direction and strength while in flight and recognize the effect of wind on the airplane's ground track. This information can be used by the pilot to conduct ground reference maneuvers. First, perform the before maneuver checklist and select an altitude suitable for ground reference maneuvers between 800 and 1000 feet AGL. Ensure there are no aircraft, obstacles, or terrain nearby that can pose a safety hazard. Next, select a reference point in the area which an emergency landing can be made if necessary. Ideal reference points are roads or fence intersections, but other reference points can be used if necessary. Enter the maneuver from any direction to the reference point, leaving the throttle at the same power setting throughout the entire circle. Once over the reference point, roll into a 30 degree bank and perform a 360 degree turn, maintaining a constant bank angle. Note, the starting heading or outside aiming point can be used to roll out of the turn when completed. Pilots can use the sight picture of the wing strut parallel to the ground in Epic Flight Academy's Cessna 172s. Remain coordinated and maintain the same bank angle and power setting throughout the 360 degree turn. The pilot then notes the difference in position between the starting and finishing positions. After the aircraft is rolled out of the 360 degree turn, when they look back at the point, they will be looking into the wind. The aircraft will finish the maneuver downward from the initial starting point. The velocity of the wind can be determined by the distance the airplane has moved. For instance, if the aircraft has moved a large distance, the wind velocity is high, whereas if the aircraft has not moved very far, the wind velocity is low. If there is a headwind, the pilot will complete the turn before arriving at the reference point, and if there is a tailwind, the pilot will finish the turn past the reference point. The pilot now knows the wind direction and velocity and can maneuver the aircraft appropriately to enter ground reference maneuvers with a tailwind. Some helpful tips when conducting a wind drift circle are Choose a safe area to conduct the circle. Choose a notable reference point. Maintain the same power setting, bank angle, altitude, and remain coordinated for the most accurate wind direction and velocity calculation. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.